All right, boys, the moment you've all been waiting for, the wait is finally over. Introducing a Q&A with my lovely girlfriend. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it because uh, I have a feeling this is gonna be the juiciest one yet. She is not ready. She hasn't even seen any of the questions. A little nervous. <laughs> yes, she's a little nervous. First of all, let's hear your name. My name's Jojo. <laughs> What's your full name? Johanna. Johanna, I'm like interviewing you. I wish I had like a microphone. I can just... <laughs> the first question. By the way, I got them on my laptop right here. So if I'm looking down, that is why. Magma asks, how did you guys meet? We met at work. I was working at FedEx, the night shifts for about a year. And then all of a sudden, this redhead walks in the door and the rest is history. Okay, she started working there with me doing those early morning, late night shifts. Delta asks, when are you getting married? I will say this, probably, maybe, most likely, definitely within two years. Year and a half. Year and a half. No, I'm just kidding. Probably within two years, though, if we're being real here. Mrs. asks, how often did your girlfriend see slash meet other women that are on self-improvement and good matches for men on self-improvement? Are they more rare? It's basically saying, like, do you know of girls that are on self-improvement who take care of themselves? And are they more rare? Yeah, Go. they actually are. I do currently have one friend and we just started working out together and she's working on self-improvement and she's helped me and I've helped her. And that's like my only friend who's really on self-improvement. I haven't really met anyone else on self-improvement besides myself and her. <clears throat> so I think it is hard and difficult to find. Yeah, I mean, they're more rare. It's like, it's like us men that are on self-improvement. I think at this point, it's probably more rare to see a guy who's actually working on himself. Same with women. It's more rare to see a woman who actually takes care of herself, who doesn't just like go to the club every weekend and get fucked up with her bitches. Oh my gosh, let's go out and drink. Like that type of girl. So yeah, they're more rare, unfortunately. But guess what? You are what you attract. So by you becoming more rare and the fact that you are improving yourself, becoming the best version of yourself, I'm talking so fast. By you becoming the best version of yourself, you will also attract a girl who is trying to work on herself and become the best version of herself. <laughs> Next question. How did you feel about meeting her parents from AL3JANDRX7? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the thing about meeting parents is like, you're going to be a little nervous. It's like when you first talk to a girl, you're a little nervous, but you just got to be yourself. Honestly, it's cringy, but like, yeah, just be yourself. Um trying to think back to when I first met your parents. We weren't together yet, but we weren't that's together how you yet. met. I, okay, actually, we, it was three of us, my friend and Matt and me, and we were hanging out and I thought my parents had gone out to dinner because obviously I didn't want Matt to meet my parents. We weren't together yet. Mm. So I told them, oh, let's go watch a movie back at my house. So we all went back to my house and sure enough, my parents were home and I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, this is so awkward because we were not together yet. So you walk in and not only was my parents there, my grandma was there That's and right. she has no filter. So therefore she was asking and interviewing you pretty much. Your grandma loved me. Well, she did, but yeah, she asked me a lot of questions. I was very respectful. I was a gentleman. Okay. I know, but I didn't want, I didn't want you to meet them before we were dating, but they loved him right off the bat. Of course Just they saying. did. Of course they did. <laughs> All right, Magma, I already asked another question. Fuck it, we'll answer it. Is she the queen of the brotherhood? Are you the queen of the brotherhood? I mean, I hope so. I am dating you. Queen of the brotherhood. All right. Yeah, probably. I guess we can call her the queen. The queen. I like that. That's okay. <laughs> Bradzuki asks, what was her first genuine reaction to you when you showed interest in her? So when I first showed interest in you, what, how'd you feel? Intimidated? <laughs> shy no, okay 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 so <laughs> at first we like I, how do I put this I didn't know how to handle it because in my past I didn't have the best relationships I didn't know what it was like to have a man who first of all you just gave the I don't give a fuck vibe personally mm. and I liked that mm. you didn't show all that emotion and let me know everything about you let me know this that like only worrying about me you were just so to yourself, presentable. And then when you showed like the slight little flirts and like, I don't know, the emotions that you did, it just kind of was like a, okay. So what was this question? So your first genuine reaction was just like positive, right? Yeah. Yeah. You liked what you saw, obviously. Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And uh, no, I'm I mean, not kidding. Did. 
<laughs> yeah, you liked what you saw, but you also liked that I didn't give a fuck about like trying to like be all overly nice to you. Like I was just to myself, but at the same time I was flirty and. Uh, you yeah. weren't trying to impress me by overdoing mm, it. That's huge. Yeah, don't try to impress her, bro. Just be yourself. Just like literally, just like, but don't be your dumbass self who just like is a simp for her. You know what I mean? I make a lot of videos about it. Well, I have been lately, at least. All right, next question. Per Cageman, was the beginning of the relationship awkward? No. I talked his ear off the first time we really hung out together, and I acknowledged mm. that. I literally, I was talking so much. He's much more of a listener, and I talk a lot. And so I'm telling my entire life story to him. And I realized in that moment, I looked at him, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm talking too much. This, this is embarrassing. But he laughed. And honestly, it was never awkward. Tip for when you're on a first date. Let the woman just talk, bro. Literally just sit there and listen. <laughs> sit back, be calm, be cool. Have like nice little body language like you're interested in her, but you're not overly interested and you're like saying your whole life story like, oh my gosh, this is what I do. Blah, blah, blah. No, be mysterious. Like give off like a cool vibe and she will talk your ear off. Well, I mean, yeah, you will. <laughs> but uh, most girls will too. They want to talk. Let them talk and be a good listener. Perek, do you like pizza? Yes. Oh, I love pizza. She loves pizza. I love pizza. Okay, Starfall asks, what was her body count when you guys met? Did it affect you in any way? I don't think we're going to answer this. No. Yeah, we're not going to answer that. Yeah, me too. Let's just say it was not high, okay? If a girl has a high body count, it's probably a walking red flag. But hey, we're not getting into details here of numbers. I wish I could, but uh, we're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Renewed to Matt's girlfriend. What are some of Matt's most attractive qualities? I like these questions. Okay, well, confidence. Okay. Confidence is key. Um, I like your smile. Like my smile? I got a nice he smile. He has a good smile. I got a nice smile. He's actually really good with people. The way that he like, showed himself to me, it was also confidence and then just, he didn't care. Like You could just tell that he was so content with his life that if genuinely something didn't affect him, like it just didn't matter. He was so just put together. I don't even, I'm bad at words, but he just was very put together and you're just really attractive. Ooh. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we are leaving this cringy shit in there too, aren't we? All right, Cass Van Lang asks, do you think about having kids already? 100% bro, yes. we both think about, yes. she's, that's what she wants to be is a mother. Well, I want to be a stay-at-home mom, and mm -hmm. I think something very important for me is I want to be present in every little moment of my kid's life. So that includes me being a stay-at-home mom, because if you think about it, that is a job. You're just not getting paid for it. It's Listen up, ladies. You're literally <clears throat> a nurse. You're a freaking, I don't even know, doctor. You're just, you're helping with every little thing for that child. Do you nah. get paid for it? No, you don't. So being a stay-at-home mom, damn straight, you, you should have someone who provides for you because you're already doing the job. Why well, have to have another one? I'm... Yeah, I mean, for me personally too, it's like, as a man, I want to provide for a woman. I want to provide for a family. It makes me feel good, right? I mean, obviously I'm not providing yet, but like, of course that's what I'm striving for, to provide for a family and so that my wife can stay at home with the kids. It's more of like a traditional viewpoint. Maybe you don't agree with it, but hey. I think that's like a good goal to strive for. A lot of girls nowadays will shit on shit shit will <laughs> shit on her for wanting to be a stay-at-home mom because of let's be honest, bro, because of feminism, because it's like all this toxic narrative, oh, you should go into the workplace, you don't need no man. But when you find a feminine girl who like actually is true to her nature, she wants to be the mother of your kids. She wants to stay at home and take care of the home and be the homemaker. Like, I don't see what the problem is in that. A lot of people have told you in the past, like, oh, you shouldn't do that. Uh, what are you going to do about money? He's going to control you. I, do I control you? No. Oh, okay. Gosh, no. Like, there's the... We'll, we'll put an end to that right there. I do not control her. Anyway, we're talking too much about this shit. We need to move on. Dom asks, has having a girlfriend motivated you to do things? And I will say... 100% it has. Because when you have this nice energy from a woman in your life, not like a toxic relationship, not like a toxic relationship, when you have a healthy relationship, of course you are motivated by that. I'm motivated by the fact that I need to provide for her. I'm motivated by the fact that I'm going to, well, she's going to give me kids one day. I ain't giving kids. I'm not, put, <laughs> I'm not pumping kids out, but 
I'm motivated by that fact that like, yes, yeah, this is going to be the mother of my kids. So of course I need to make money and provide for that future family. Um, at the same time, just having her energy in my life has motivated me to push towards my goals even faster, even harder. Pause. <laughs> Uh, for sure, bro. A nice balance of feminine energy in your life does you wonders. It's motivating. 100%. All right, another question from Alejandro7. Matt's girlfriend, does Matt snore in his sleep? Okay, so no. What he does at nighttime is he puts tape over his mouth. So it's like this. So he doesn't open his mouth, doesn't snore. But there are times before you start doing that, Mm. You would snore, but he would also sometimes talk in his sleep. You talked a few times in your sleep, and it was a little creepy. But no, he does not. Uh, oh, excuse me. My yeah. bad. All right, Aquino asks, how do you guys work through problems? So essentially, what you do is you communicate. You, like, effective communication. If I have a problem with her, or if I have a problem with something she's doing, I will tell her. I'm not going to... Hold it. I'm not going to like hold it in and push it down to the depths of my brain. No, fuck that. I will bring it up to her. And same goes for her. Sometimes she struggles with bringing up problems. She will kind of push it away for a while before she actually says it. But that's the key is to literally just talk about your problems. There's nothing else to it. It's literally just effectively communicate your problems without accusing them of anything, but just in a nice way say, hey, I don't really appreciate when you do this. I don't really like the fact that you did this. Those kind of sentences. Well, that, but also I think, I think it's a problem if you can't communicate, period. If you're afraid to even communicate at all, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Personally. <laughs> I love this energy. This is how I talk to my boys. I just, I'm straight to the point. I tell them that they suck. Just kidding. But sometimes I do. Yes, you do. So yeah, good job. Good job, babe. Seraph1, what do women appreciate when they see a man? I mean, in his character, I know you women love big muscles even though you always say no. Yeah, I mean, women no, do like you big, like no. big muscles. Yes, women like big muscles. Thank you. I mean, yeah, but I forgot the question. I was too focused on the muscles part. Um, you don't have to be jacked, though. Like, when I say jacked, I mean, like, fucking bodybuilder status. Like, athletic. You have to look athletic. Be bigger than your girlfriend. And, yes. Not smaller. Be able to, like, <laughs> take her and throw her to the floor. All right, no, that's don't. important. Next question Delta asks ass or breast? Ass. Every single time. Breast? <laughs> yeah, you said ass well, or breast. one of them? Breast? Oh, this is hilarious. Master, Raider, Slayer, Vanzer, my guy, asks, I got a question. Does she like Star Wars The Originals? Yes. You know about the story. Oh, gosh. You... Yes. <laughs> you know about the Princess Leia story? Yes. Okay. So do you like Star Wars? Yes. I like Star Wars. I watched it with you. Yeah, you watched all, we watched all six of them. of them. No, we watched all of them. We dedicated yeah. our time, like, we obviously split. We didn't watch it all in one night, but we would take, like, when we'd have a movie night or something, it would be the next one, and then the next one, and sometimes we wouldn't finish it, but we'd finish it the next time. I like Star Wars. <laughs> no. John asks, does Matt have a big dick? Matthew! No comment. <laughs> no? What? You're not going to help me out here? That's my answer. What's your answer? I gave a look. Okay. That's all they need to know. Just that look alone, I guess. Whatever. Risky question, Johnny boy. Come on now. Oh, this is funny. FX Joy, what does your girlfriend think about No Nut November? I could care less. You could care less. Genuinely, I could care less. Okay. Good job. You want a pat on the back? I don't, like, I don't care. Oh, but th I think they mean like the fact that I do it. Oh, and yeah, I don't care. You don't care? No, yeah, we'll get to, we'll get to more of these questions. There's more questions about this. We'll get to it. Yeah, I mean, no, not November. Cool, bro. I mean, like I said in my video, like, no fap is a lifestyle. All right, it's no nut never. Why not that? never. All right, not never. But I mean, like, no nut December. No nut January. Bro. I know. Like, that's why I thought you said like, what do you want me to do? Pat you on the back for doing it for a month? Like, if you're trying to do mm -hmm. it, like, always. Like you said, every no, month. No porn should be the goal. Like, ever. Porn, we're done with that shit. We are done with that shit. Let's move on to the next question. <laughs> Uncle Dan asks, have you guys ever kissed each other? No. Is this a real question? No, we haven't. Never. Be honest. No, we haven't. Never. Seraph1, how to fuck a random girl in the street? Well, uh, see, so you go over to her. You, uh... Stop. <laughs> you, Stop. 
you say hello, you ask her what her name is, and then uh, you pick her up. <laughs> Don't stop. I'm fucking with That's you. That's it. How to fuck a random girl on the street? Shut up, bro. We're not answering that. Yo asks, what are some good things you th- you like about him or her, and what are some you least like about each other? He's really stubborn. I'm stubborn. He's okay? so stubborn. That's something you don't like about me. Um, <laughs> he burps and farts a lot. I'm sorry, but I have to be honest, it's disgusting. So you're going to out me like that? Yes. I am a gassy guy. What can I say? Yes. It's all the protein, bro. It's all the protein. And then the things that I do love about you is you're very masculine, but at the same time, you're very genuine with me. You're very kind and mm. loving, but yet you can still be a man. Um, I yeah, guess. that's that's the key. It's like you don't want to be this like masculine straight edge guy. Like we're I'm goofy as fuck around her, but at the same time, I know how to hold frame. It's like I know how to when push comes to shove. Like no, we're gonna do this. Like I know how to like essentially just like keep the polarity by being the decision maker, being the the kind of guy that is on his shit like i'm focused on youtube mainly that's my purpose that's my mission where was i going but like yeah you can at the end of the day cuddle your girlfriend bro (laughs) it's not a big deal but if you're the guy who's always asking for cuddles and hugs and you can't get enough like then it's gonna you're gonna come across as that like nice guy okay i just made a video on it but needy exactly wait ah, ah you did not answer about me Oh yeah, what do I like about you? I like uh, I like how supportive you are. Like you're supportive of my mission. I like that's a very feminine quality. I really like that. I admire that. I like how kind you are. You're good at like communicating with me when we need to change something in our relationship, and vice versa. Like that's true. Where we got a dynamic where it's like all cards are on the table. If something's wrong, we just say it. We don't let it boil up and get pissed at each other. But what do I not like about you? Um, you're a little messy, a little bit, a little bit. That's, that's like my one pet peeve. I'm like, I need, better though. I, I need things in order and she's like a chaotic person. Pause. So to speak. I've gotten better since I've moved back home. I yeah. have gotten better. Right. You have your mom, Gary, formats, girlfriend. What does self-improvement for women look like? I think it's having your own routine. First of all, just finding what you truly love. And I think... First of all, working on working out, I think that is a definite. I think you need to be working out, putting some type of exercise. I journal. I started meditating. Um, I'm working on less screen time. Do that. Find some alone time and read a book. Like, don't always be on your phone. I know, like, influencers, TikTok, this, that. Yes, you can get involved in it for three hours. But genuinely, it's the same thing as guys, just without no fat. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, self-improvement for women is basically the same as for men. Like, more delayed gratification, less instant gratification. Obviously, us men, though, we're more, like, disciplined. We're, like, those hard-ass, like, David Goggins-style, like, grunting-in-the-gym type people. Like, you're not going to see a girl do that. Maybe you will, but, like, me personally, I want nothing to do with that kind of girl. If she's grunting in the gym, I'm scared of her. I'm terrified. But, anyway, it's basically the same shit. Same shit as men. All right, another question from Master... The Raider Slayer himself. Does Matt make the huh face with with you? No. <laughs> the, huh. no. No. Okay, no. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Never. Mo asks, how do you share daily stress? How do you overcome it? And what is it like building financial progress between both of you? Okay, actually, I'm going to answer this one. Wow, jumping right in. All right. <laughs> Recently... As of a week ago, we decided to make, we lived together at first. We just separated. Like I moved back home. You stayed here. Yeah. And we found our own daily tasks because in a way, when we were living together with other people, we were just constantly bonking heads, like constantly. And it just, it was stressful. And I think moving apart, finding our own routine, like we just had talked about, communicating and just talking about things and what we're doing, this, that, that kind of thing, I think moving out in like the space <clears throat> kind of helped us. That was the stupidest answer. But... No, 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 no. I think the space is great. Like, yeah, we used to live together for about, what, two years? Yeah. And we'd sleep together every single night. But like, honestly, that's a good way to depolarize your relationship. Not that we ever were depolarized because I was still focused on my shit and she was still like masculine, feminine. There was, the energy was still there. But having space... 
like she's now at her house. I live here obviously, and she's now at home and she comes here on the weekends. Having that time apart is so beneficial for a healthy relationship. This, this wasn't even the question, by the way. The question was, how do you deal with stress? Oh, and, I definitely um, read that wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, you heard that wrong, but that's sorry. okay. That's okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm having a hard time understanding his question. Because if it's for the relationship with stress, you need to talk about it. Communication is yeah, what it, we talked about before. It comes down to effective communication. Like, at the end of the day, if you're stressed, you're going to tell me. If I'm stressed, I'm going to tell you. More often than not, though, I try not to tell her when I'm stressed just because, like... But I also know you, so... I, yeah, but I also don't want to be that guy who's, like, pouring my feelings out to her. You know what I mean? So I, like, deal with that shit alone. I deal with that by meditating, by doing my daily tasks, by making sure I'm getting my work done so I don't feel so stressed. And, yeah. So you just answer his question. Okay, cool. I got you, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jack12949394 to her. How do you feel about Matt being on semen retention? I think it's great. If I'm being honest, he is a lot more active, happy, and he's not like luggish. I luggish? I, luggish? Isn't that a word? S sluggish? No, lug. Sluggish? Wait, but you've never known me to not be. I mean, okay. We've had periods of our relationship where I'm nothing. That's what I'm trying to say. No, I'm when, busting. When there have been I'm, times. I'm... <laughs> stop. Where you have like. Slipped up. I guess. Right. What are you going to... You've said you have. So the times that you have, the next day you're not as... I don't know. You're not as motivated. Like, upbeat. Hmm. That kind of thing. So you've noticed that? Yes. I've noticed it. Okay. And I support it. I think it's fine. It's your choice. Your life. We got to answer all these semen, re semen retention questions right now. Oh, great. Not gross ones, please. Actually, we'll answer them later. But yeah, I did make a full guide on how to be on semen retention while in a relationship. So you should go watch that video if you're curious. Um, some people might not understand it, but hey, me personally, I'm going to keep doing my thing. I like being on semen retention. And I'm not going to lie, it took a whole fucking year of trial and error of uh, slipping up <laughs> before I was able to essentially have sex without busting. And she's on board with it because... I effectively communicated with it, with, with it, with her about what it is. So that's, it all comes down to communication, a healthy relationship. There needs to be communication always. Delta, what's her thoughts on me? What's, what are your thoughts on Delta? She doesn't know you, Delta. I'm I sorry. I've never sorry. told her about you. My bad, bro. The Raider Slayer asks, serious question, her or Princess Leia? <laughs> Obviously her, bro. You know what's so funny, actually? When I, a lot of the boys know about this story though, when uh, I was on NoFap for my first ever long streak, right? It was 143 days. Yes, I know the day. I was a dumbass counting the days. Anyway, 143 days. I'm watching Star, Star, I'm watching Star <laughs> Wars by myself. Return of the Jedi, Princess Leia, that scene, Slave Leia, where she's wearing nothing, comes on screen. And yeah, I relapsed because of her. She got the best of me. And then what's crazy about that is that was my last relapse before meeting you. That was the last time I that was the last time I nutted. No way. <laughs> before meeting you. Ew. <laughs> so yeah, you. That's pretty weird. Uh, then I met you and uh, the rest, you know. Oh, Matt. <laughs> Ignatius, what are you guys' kinks? You have to have at least one. You like feet, right? Just a little bit. I'm just kidding. I hate feet. Uh, yeah, disgusting. you hate feet. What are my kinks? I'm not going to fucking tell you what my kinks are. I don't... Uh. Nope. I Nemesis, who wakes up first in the morning? Actually, technically, I do now. Yeah, for like one week, you've been waking up at and 5 a.m. And I've been doing it every single day. Okay. And I'm going to continue to do it every single day. All right, so technically you. Me. But when we lived together for the whole... It was mad. Yeah, every 100%. single day. 100%. I Be wake up an yeah. hour later. I heard Elliot Hall say this one time. You should be the first person out of bed, like, based on you and your woman. You should beat her out of bed. You yeah, should. Your feet should beat hers to the floor, is what he said. And I thought, and I didn't even uh, hear this, or what was I going to say? I did this before even hearing him say this, but when he said that, I was like, oh, all right, cool. I beat my woman to the ground. <laughs> I, beat my, <laughs> I beat you to the ground. <laughs> Fuck me, bro. No, 100% though, I wake up earlier. I guess not anymore. This past week, she's been waking up at 5, but hey. I'm going to start waking up at 4.59. Just to beat you. 
Honestly, you What would. is with me beating you? You would. I'm like a freaking <laughs> woman beater out here. <laughs> Pause. Boppo, how can I be intentional with showing interest to a crush without it being weird? I hope to marry someone one day, but IDK, how to make that type of connection begin? Well, first of all, be yourself. You don't want to attract someone who is not truly meant for you. Yeah, I think without it being weird, it's like when you're kind of, me personally, back in the day when I was a degenerate, when I didn't have a body I was proud of, when I had poor mental health, I was always worried about coming across as being creepy to girls. But once I built myself up, built a better body, built up more confidence through self-improvement, through no fap, retention, meditation, all that. It's like, I didn't feel so shy and nervous to, to feel creepy. I felt like, you know what, I'm attractive, so if I like a girl, I'm gonna show her. Through like, literally like, flirting. Yeah. Like, little, being able to like, use your eyes is so powerful, bro. Like, having essentially body language and eye contact with a girl when you first meet her is way more important than what you actually say. You don't have to have some magic pickup line. No, you just have to be solid in who you are. Confident. Confident in who you are. And, and obviously sometimes I was nervous around her at the first beginning stages, but like- I couldn't tell. I didn't, exactly. You, you, you have to like cover it up. You have to not show it. Show that you're calm, cool, collected. And you don't have to be worried about being creepy unless like you are creepy. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> If you are creepy, then sure, you're gonna come across as creepy, but just don't be creepy. That's the, literally the best thing I can tell you. Kazo asks, question from Matt. Wow, this is a long one. What are your thoughts on mainstream self-improvement YouTubers slash other important figures? Any specific you like? Example, Hamza, Joe Rogan, Iman, Ooh, I like Hamza. Jordan Peterson, Andrew slash Tristan Tate, and others. Do you agree with what most of them are saying? Have you learned anything from them, etc.? So, Joe Rogan, Iman, Jordan Peterson, Andrew, and Tristan Tate, I don't watch literally any of their stuff anymore. Uh, I've never really watched a Joe Rogan podcast. Eman, I've seen a <clears throat> Oh my gosh. I've seen a couple of Eman, 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 however the hell you say it. I've seen a couple of his videos. Uh, never really learned anything from him, but obviously he's got like 3 million subscribers, so he's fucking sick. But yeah, me personally, I didn't learn anything from him. Jordan Peterson, actually I do have his book. I read his book, 12 Rules for Life. It's a good book. But I've never seen videos of Jordan Peterson. Maybe I just live under a rock. I kind of do. Uh, Hamza, love the guy. Obviously, he's been an inspiration to me. She likes him. I um, do. You like what he says. Are you like, yeah, you like the fact that he has a girlfriend, too. Well, that, and I also, I watched their podcast. You like their podcast. Of them together, and I liked it a lot. Okay, yeah. I liked it a lot. Yeah, uh, obviously, Hamza's doing great work. He's helping young men. We have the same common goal. It's to help young men. He has a way bigger platform than me, clearly. He's got, like, 2 million plus subs. And I thought it was so interesting that a lot of guys in my community actually don't even know who he is. But more, like, I shouldn't say a lot. Some don't know who he is. A lot do know who he is because he changed the self-improvement game with his Jeffrey and Adonis transformation. Shit. Uh, Ice Cold JT, though, for me, was a probably a bigger inspiration. I don't even think you know who that is because he doesn't post videos no, anymore. No, I saw comments on it on your video. I didn't know. Yeah, people like to say that I'm a Hamza clone or that I, like, you know, that I copy Ice Cold JT. I mean, bro, I got inspiration from him. If you want to say I copied him, Okay. Are you making any videos? Probably not. So, yeah, everyone gets inspired. I don't know why I just like got <laughs> got offensive there, but <laughs> I don't mean to be a dick, but like, you know what's funny though? For every hate comment I get telling me that I copy this person, copy that person, I get like a hundred positive comments and the ones that keep me going are those positive comments. I see that one hate comment and I'm like, damn, it kind of fucks my day up a little bit sometimes if I let it. But at the same time, I'm like, yo, if you're going to compare me to Hamza, you're going to compare me to someone who has 2 million subscribers? I get more heated with the me. No, no, no. I like when, when I get compared to him. I'm like, okay, sick. Compare me to him all you want because that just shows I'm doing the right things. <laughs> you're over there just smiling at me. I love it. <laughs> you little cutie. I just touched your nose. <sighs> okay. Your mom, Gary, what keeps the attraction between you and her? Um... Uh, space time apart you have to have some level of Gym. like some level like i miss you oh, yeah that level of like all right i don't see you for a little bit so i miss seeing her you miss seeing me that keeps the attraction at the same time yeah jim keeping our bodies on point like we, and also self we like we like the way each other look i mean if you got fat or if i got fat you'd have a problem with it i'd have a problem with it yeah it's different yeah it's just 
We, no, I just, I agree. I so, don't. yeah, at least we can fucking admit that. But hey, um, at the same time, polarity is the key to, to attraction. I talk about this a lot. Get the book, The Way of the Superior Man. He, t- he, he literally tells you how to be a superior man. Didn't how I to love a woman properly. Yeah, we read it together. Okay, yeah. That I've read it like three times now. Once with her. I do like that book a lot. The other way to keep the attraction is to focus on your mission first. Your woman comes second, your mission comes first. And it's True. not a problem at all. Like, don't put her as your number one priority in your life. She does not want that. She may tell you that she does, but she's lying to you. No, you're going to get sick of it real quick. I'm telling you from experience, you're not going to care anymore. No attraction there because you're going to realize, same thing with like, oh, what do you want to do? Constantly, what do you want to do? You Like, you make the decision, you make the decision. At the end of the day, he makes the decision. Like... I don't know how to put this, but yes, he wants my opinion, but at the end of the day, I want what he says because he knows me so well to, to the point where it's like, okay, what are some ideas? What do you want to do? And then I'll give you some of my input. Whatever you choose, you choose. I'm fine either way. I, I like it when you make the decisions because same thing with like, oh, where do you want to eat? I don't freaking know. I like any type of food, but it's like, See, this is the thing, like a feminine woman wants me, a masculine man, to make the decisions and no, I'm not the most masculine man, but I'm working on it, right? Yes, you are. And like by me having that frame, setting that frame, like, yeah, I'm the leader, you're the follower. Yeah. It's, that's the healthiest dynamic you can get. It's like the father-daughter dynamic. Sounds weird. Yeah, a little bit. It sounds weird, I know, but like, it's better than the son-mother dynamic where I'm the mommy's boy begging you to do shit with like asking oh what do you want to do yeah babe? no thanks i'm good i mean obviously i've asked you before yeah what do you want to do like or right. you surprise me with stuff that i like like that kind of thing but it's at the end of the day i like when you take charge of the situation yeah we got to keep moving what should i do for my girlfriend when she gets back from military school from nemesis Wait, she, gets, what? she gets back december 8th left for school june 27th damn so this guy's been apart from his girl for well, once December hits, take her out. Six months. Take her out. Take her out. Make her feel special. Like, Make her just, feel special. Matt, <laughs> take her out on a nice date. You know, if she knows what she likes, do some of the things that she likes. Not give her everything, but like make it a nice night or a nice day whenever she gets there. I don't know. Nice. I don't think it's genuine and nice. Yeah. Delta asks, how long does Matt last? 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm a one, uh, I'm a one pump warrior. <laughs> one pump so... warrior over here. Minute man. All right. This is cool. Proud Irish man. Oh five. How tough was it for you, Matt, to find a girl who was into self-improvement slash not being a massive degenerate like you? How would someone go about doing that? I wasn't fully into self-improvement yet when you met me. Yeah, true. You weren't, but I was vaping. That's fun fact. I was vaping yeah. still when he met me. He helped me quit, but still. Right. So that's the, that's the thing. It's like you, you as a man are like the leader, right? So when you meet this girl, when you meet a girl, if she doesn't have all the right habits in place, what I did was I led by example. I knew she wasn't going to rip that vape forever, right? I knew she yeah. wasn't. And... Maybe that's a bad habit that I overlooked. Oh, that's a red flag that I overlooked. But at the same time, she had a very nice masculine father, a nice mother. Like they have a very loving relationship themselves. So I, that's a great green flag is the fact that you came from a Christian household. First of all, Christian household, strong, loving family. So that's like the biggest green flag that I can probably think of in terms of a woman. Like I knew that she was not going to be, she didn't like to go out and party though. And shit like that, like you were like on the verge of, of, leveling up to the whole self-improvement I was already at that point that I wanted to change. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you were there to help me push to that. Right, and if you're like, if you're seeing a girl and she doesn't have all the green flags checked, bro, maybe she just needs your guidance a little bit, not like to tell her what to do. I never said you need to quit vaping. No, I led led by example. No, but what did you do to help me? We went on a vacation to New York City, and I looked at you and I said... We're not doing that when we're on vacation. Yeah. He literally, it was the day before that we left and I was still doing it. Still doing it. And he looked at me and he was like, 
you're not taking that with you. Like, I'm telling you, you're not taking that with you. And when mind that, when I say tell you, that makes it sound like you're controlling. He's not. For me, I need to be told. In certain situations, I don't need him to ask for my opinion. In certain situations, he needs to tell me things because I need to get that through my brain and I need to say, okay, he's telling me I got to listen. That's for that perspective. When he told me that, I was like, okay. And actually I did. I quit cold turkey. I did. It was struggling in the beginning a little bit, but the distraction of having fun in New York and just living my moment and realizing that I was focusing on focusing on sucking out of a vape that made me happy why the frick would i want to do that right so yeah yeah so you don't do it anymore no i know of course of course you don't you wouldn't be with me still if you still did that shit okay cool to matt's girl from sam my boy sam when matt told you about the channel what was your reaction i was so excited you were excited you know I was excited. Yeah. You told me about that and I said, you do what you want to do. I think that's great. I was your first subscriber. She was. I was subscriber. with him. When the he queen was... was the first subscriber. <laughs> I was with him when he was creating his channel and he was like talking about it. And before you really made it, you we found that camera. Before we went on our road trip, yeah. we had that camera and he took a few videos and we're like, oh my gosh, let's vlog our trip. That didn't happen. But... Yeah. We talk about it along the ride. I'm I'm supportive. I still am. I think he has so much potential and I'm happy. I'm good with it. I think it's cool. For sure. For sure. Question to girlfriend. Do you have male friends? If yes, how how Matt feels about it? If no, how would you feel if Matt had female friend? How would you feel if I had female friends? No. Um my quote unquote guy friends are Matt's friends. So a lot of the people that I still like talk with are Matt's high school friends. Or I think acquaintances, people, if I see someone in public that I knew from high school, yeah, I'm gonna say hi, but that does that mean we hang out and text each other? No. Um, so you don't hang out with guys one-on-one -on -one no, ever? No, no. Right, no, I, obviously, and I wouldn't, and I wouldn't tolerate that. No, and I wouldn't tolerate that either with you hanging out with Yeah, girls. I don't hang out with girls one-on-one -on -one either. That's it's like, a, <laughs> of course, why it's would I do that? It's just common sense. It's just gonna like cause anxiety. It's gonna ruin your relationship. Why would I? I don't want to be friends with a female anyway. Females are annoying. <laughs> They're annoying. Like, why would I want to hang out with a girl? That's just... Obviously, we hang out, but, like, we love each other. We are attracted to each other. I'm not going to hang out with a girl if I... Well, I'm just digging this hole deeper and deeper. Come come in the hole with me, boy. <laughs> yeah, let's explain that. What? What was I going to say? I was just saying, like, I'm not going to hang out with a girl because they're annoying to hang out with, first of all. Like... Being friends with a girl, think about how stupid that sounds. You don't have girlfriends. Exactly, because it sounds stupid. I'd rather have a guy friend who is going to tell me, like, tell me straight up, like, yo, let's hit a workout. Let's do this. Like, whereas a girlfriend, it's like, what are you, you going to do for you? Just, like, gossip to you? Like, oh my gosh, my boyfriend last night, uh, he fucked me so good. Ew, stop. <laughs> You're going to be sitting there like, oh, I wish that was me. Okay. <laughs> like, anyway. I just dug that hole so deep. Let's just uh, climb back out and answer the next question. And we'll be talking about that later. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you actually think you're mad at me? No, I'm not. No, of course she's not. She doesn't get mad at me. Earthbat TV. For how long did you have a crush on Matt before you were a couple? What made you think about him like that? Okay, so when we first met, yes, I thought he was very attractive. But personally, I didn't know his vibe yet. And I... <laughs> I thought you were like a douche. I, like you looked like a total douchebag. I'm just gonna be so honest. Okay. And also, I just thought he was so attractive that I thought he had a girlfriend. So therefore, we would talk. We were like friendly enough, but there was tension. But just for me, we waited for a little bit. Like two months. Yeah, we didn't rush into shit. No. We didn't. We, we really started flirting in mid-April. When I started in March, like mid-April. We really started to like flirt and then I realized I was like, oh, I was like, okay, like he's chill. That was weird. I'm chill, but I'm also a douchebag. Well, if you... No, I mean, that's like, it's confidence. Like if you pre present yourself with confidence, girls will look at you and think, wow, that guy looks like a douche. But hey, at the same time, girls want to sleep with guys who are portrayed in a way where you thought I had... A girlfriend, you thought I was getting girls. That's a good nice. place to be because girls like guys who get girls. 
It's the truth. Yeah, it's the I truth. Know. No, I apologize, bro, if I don't get to your question. We've been doing this for like an hour now. There's a lot. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of questions. Let's see. I got to get my boy Riley. Where's my boy Riley? I told him I'd answer his question. How do you slash should you manage a healthy relationship while focusing on the daily grind? How do you set up your day so that the relationship continues to stay strong? Well, like we just talked about, I don't live here anymore. Yeah. And so, so he's able to focus on his own thing and I can focus on my own thing. And that's made our relationship healthier. Yeah. And, and then stronger. we talk at the end of the day when everything is done and we don't have any more work or priorities to do. And from the beginning, like before I even got into a relationship with her, I had my daily routine set. I knew exactly what I wanted to do every single day. And this was when I was in school. I was working full time. <clears throat> and even then I had a daily routine. When she came into my life, that daily routine didn't change. The only difference was nope. once I was done doing my duties for the day, aka schoolwork, work, workout, meditate, all that. Once I was done those duties... Then we'd hang out and I'd spend time with her. Yeah. My daily routine didn't change once she came into my life. If anything, you made it easier. If it, like, well, because I respected it. Exactly. I didn't interfere. Exactly. So, and if a girl wants to interfere, interfere, you tell her. You tell her no. You say no. This is how, this is how I live my life. This is what I do every single day. But yes, you can make like adjustments. Yes, you want to do your routine, but if there's like a special event or this or that, or you want to do something fun, like. That is okay. You can adjust it a little bit. That is okay. A-okay. That is me talking to you. I know. <laughs> Hope that helps, bro. Mike SZ asks, what do you think you can do better in your relationship? I will say that I could be better at praising her. I could be better at showing her a little more affection. I'm very, like, I show you affection, but I think to nitpick myself, I think for sure I could show her a little more affection. What do you think about that? Yeah. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I also you? think you could be a little bit more flexible. Not like, what I mean by flexible. You know what I mean by that. We've we talked go. about it. <laughs> We've talked about it. Like, there are certain little events at the end of the day that if we're invited to this or to that, it would be a little bit nice if it's something that I like that you could do. What would you say to that, though? What can you do better in your relationship? Um, I'm very emotional, I think. I think I could work on my emotions. No, 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 no. That's no, a no. Trait. no, what I mean by that okay. is I'm still emotional, but sometimes I let my emotions get the best of me in different situations. Like if you're working really hard and you haven't really talked to me all day because you're working, mm. I get upset with you, like really upset because I don't feel that kind of, like this kind of thing, blah, 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 like the affection, right. kind of like what you said you could work on, but I need to work on not getting as mad. If I want to show my emotion, my emotion can be through communication. For sure. That's what I'm saying. For sure. <laughs> Saul asks, how many times do you guys do it a week? Zero. <clears throat> never. We never do it. Cody DeGoat asks, for a girlfriend, what was different about Matt? Like, what things made you choose him over other guy options? He had his own life. He didn't rely on me. He actually took control of our relationship. He didn't smother me he wasn't very like i'm gonna do everything that you want la, 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 la. you just were actually a man confident mm -hmm. slightly sensible here's a question so to both of you what on earth do i say to a girl i like a girl in my class but don't know what to say i'm not scared of saying anything to anyone i don't get a single drop of fear ever but i just don't have any clue what to say to a girl if i want to go out with her go up to her and say hey how are you today or ask for a name if you don't know it. Oh, yeah, just, you, I mean, they're in the same class. Say, hey, Sally, how are you doing today? If you have zero fear, why is that so hard for you to do? Because think about it. Then from there, the conversation flows. You don't need to have some cringy pickup line, like, oh, I don't even know pickup lines, but like, you know, you don't need a cringy pickup line. You literally just need to go up to her and say, hey, how are you? How are you, baby? Like, just look into her eyes, too. Like, use your eyes. Use your eye contact. Don't say the baby part. Be cool. Yeah, don't say the baby part, <laughs> obviously. But, like, yeah, bro. That's, that's, we don't even need to go any further. Negio B. Biden or Trump 2024? Trump. Trump. <laughs> We're not elaborating at all. Fuck that. I don't even care about politics, to be honest. That could have been our answer. Like, literally don't care at all. Josh, is mystery still important for you both? Do you purposely not tell her things to add to polarity? No. What? Uh, no. Well, it depends on the subject. Other than that, you should be truthful to 
Your boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, being a liar doesn't add to polarity. No, being, it being, makes it sneaky. Like, I'm actually, I live the way I say I live. So, like, when I say I have a daily routine, yeah, I have a daily routine. Like, I am busy. I'm a busy person. All throughout the entire week, I'm busy. We don't see each other anymore because of no. the fact that I'm that busy. There's no time for you. When I spend time with you, I want it to be in full, loving presence. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, to, like, to answer your question, no. You don't hide shit. No, you don't lie. Don't, do that. don't be a liar, bro. Be straight up, actually have shit going on. That's how you keep the polarity, is to literally be a man on his mission. For real. Not f not being this fake, oh, I'll wait 10 hours to, re to text her back. Like, I don't text you back sometimes because I literally don't look at my phone. My phone's on do not disturb 24 seven. So, but if you're playing that game of like, oh, this girl texted me, I gotta wait so I can look high value because uh, I'm super busy and then she, no. Except actually no. actually have shit going on <laughs> actually except for when i really want you to answer i he always has his notifications on silence i send him a text and i say notify anyway so he can look <laughs> yeah but even then i don't see it until i check my phone no okay tari asks am i gonna get a girlfriend by solely focusing on improving myself i'm not saying i'm gonna ignore other women but are girls attracted to those type of guys i mean here's the thing there's no like right answer here you want to be improving yourself. You want to be focusing on yourself so that you can become the best version of yourself or a better version of yourself. When I met you, I was on that tra tra trajectory and I'm still on that trajectory. Tra such a hard <laughs> word to say. But my point is you don't have to be the best version of yourself. Just show that you are improving and be open to a girl. Like obviously we met when I was, I was like a year into self-improvement and we met. You, are ju you were just starting self-improvement when we met. So yeah, but your confidence, you learn that confidence. What did he say? I mean, yeah, you can get a girlfriend at any time really, but if you want to attract a like-minded girl, then be on your shit. True. Focus on yourself. True. Yeah. I wouldn't say ignore women either. I would say literally like be open to it. If you see a girl or if a girl starts working at the same place that you work at, like in our case, then yeah, speak to her. If you think she's attractive, go up to her and talk to her, get to know her. Like when I went to get to know you it was like let's see what she's about yeah are there a lot of red flags besides the vape <laughs> besides my hair <laughs> and your red hair yeah no, i'm just kidding orange hair actually this is a question for you but i'm gonna answer it why because it's more here question for matt's girlfriend how can i help a girl i like to start improving herself i.e go to the gym eat healthy here's the thing like in our case i led by example since i was this like self-improvement guy right like would go to the gym every day so I'm working out every day, meditating every day, reading every day. I have my routine. She saw that. Yeah, that's true. And she in turn was inspired to... You got more consistent with the gym when we met. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the thing is, if she's not going to change and it's not making you happy and she's not improving herself, move on. I'm telling you right now, move on because you're going to be wasting your time if she's not going to change. Yeah. Can I have that water? Yeah. <laughs> water break. Might have to drop a part two. Comment below if you want to see a part two. <laughs> I think this is kind of valuable though, like hearing from a, a woman's perspective. Well, I haven't really given much perspective. Sure, you've been talking a lot. Really? Can't get you to shut up over here. You need to stop talking sometimes. I'm like over here like, any day now. No. Well, you can see me in the I'm video. Kidding. I'm like, this half the time. You just like staring the brothers down, stone cold face. Oh. Dabek, gosh, what's your favorite food? Go. Macaroni and cheese. That's my favorite food. No, honestly, like we have the same. No, I'm honestly serious. I know. I'm seriously serious. Oh we, my gosh. We knew, we knew this about each other. We have the same favorite food. Mac I get so excited every time. Mac it's and okay. Cheese. Yes, every time that we would go to like a restaurant if they had mac and cheese, that's what I'm ordering. And he knew it too, so sometimes he'd order it for me. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Two more. Actively injured for the both of you. What to do? You think about going back to your ex. It has been a bit since we last dated. We both have changed for the better. I have found you and she has found new friends. I'm a little confused, but I'm going to tell you this right now. Do Don't. not go back to your ex. Don't. That shows a lack of self-respect. There's and... a reason why you broke up in the first place. Exactly. All right. One more question. Let's find a good one. Let's find a, oh, a good Okay. A juicy one. Just, no, I mean, I don't, yeah, no one's really asked like what you do for work or anything like that. Thanks, guys. What do you do for work? Tell them. Um... Well, I nanny. I'm a nanny for three days, and the other, I actually am a type 1 diabetic. 
and my family has a company and I work for them and we raise money for kids with type one. I have type one diabetes, like I said, so. Yeah, type one is different than type two, by the way. Type two so is I when you're- So I got you're... a little yeah, she's got bump a... on my arm. It's my, my meter. Type two is when you're fat. Matt. Ty um, yes. Type one is- uh... A nice way to put it is when you're overweight. But type one is when it's a disease, like- It's, it's, a, it's your life. Like your pancreas doesn't work. Yes. So she needs a device to give her insulin when she eats. Yeah. And I've had it for almost 20 years, so. Yeah. Maybe we'll end on that. We'll end on your little backstory for the for the real ones who made it this far. And I'm 23. Almost. And she's 23. I'm 24. No, you're 22. I'm almost 23. November 30th. Right. I'll be 23. So she's younger than me. She's a type 1 diabetic. Uh, hope you learned something from her. I hope you learned something from me. Maybe not. Uh, well, if you made it this far, though, like I said, you're a real one. And you might see me again. And you might see a part two. <laughs> Unless, like, there's hate comments and shit. Please don't do that. Just be nice. Just be nice to her. Please. Just be nice to her. Be mean to me. Don't be mean to her. Don't be mean be to me. <laughs> With that said, leave a like. Leave a comment. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to do it at the same time. Okay. Wait, do I say peace? Wait, what do I yeah, do? Yeah, say peace. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>